what we've discovered is that worldwide across all shark ray and chimera populations that their abundance has declined by 50%. They've been halved since 1970. We now know that this loss of sharks and rays is also risking disrupting the marine ecosystems of the world. And the key question is, what does that mean for their future? And we have developed a, an IUCN red list index to track these declines since 1970. The key threat to sharks and rays is overfishing. The red list index is used by governments around the world to track the status of biodiversity and sustainable development goals. Unfortunately, it only uses organisms from the land. So it tells us only about the state of terrestrial habitats and species. Until now, we haven't had an index for the ocean. We hope that governments will adopt the Shark and Ray Red List Index and use that to track the effects of fisheries and harvesting upon our marine ecosystems. Now with this new index, governments can see the truth about overfishing and how widespread it is. And we hope that it can be used to bend back the curve of biodiversity loss to track conservation success in the future.